I want to eat off the best fried chicken in Singapore and that brought me to Waker Chicken to try their original crispy. Oh, you got an A2. It's uh, It's easy to understand the appeal of Waker Chicken, halal, Korean fried chicken, and kopitiam fries. It doesn't even have to be too good. The formula just like works itself out. Very interestingly, I saw on their board, right? They said that their chicken, right, is at least 1.4 kgs. Eh? 1.4 is huge. Eh? Okay, it's not huge, but it's pretty big. I'm not sure if you can even buy 1.4 kg chicken in a supermarket, especially in a, a time like now where it's harder to get chicken. But this drumstick <laughs> does not look like 1.4. This comes from a 900 gram chicken. This wing too, I, I put beside my face. Okay, for, for what it's worth, it's very hot. Lah. And for what is this? $13, you get half a chicken. And the crispiness looks very, very like. Okay, enough talking first. Let's, let's just bite into it first. Mm. Oh, this? Yeah. Oh my god. Oh my god. Did you see? Our first juice squirt of the series. And there was a drop just now also. There is smoke coming out of the chicken, which is great. The batter is amazing. It's not thin, but it's so light. Like we would think that looking at something like this, right? Then it will be like pretty tough, right? But like, just crackles and crumbles. What a pity! What a pity! What a pity! Wake up, chicken. Man, I was so excited. I was so excited after I had the first bite. When the juice got out, I seriously considered like, this might be the best one so far. But it was not to be. Let's do the hits first, huh? Although it might not be the best fried chicken in Singapore, the batter will have me seriously considering it for best crust. It was so thin and brittle but it looks like at some parts it actually looks quite elaborate biting through it feels like you're biting through a croissant a croissant croissant where you like break multiple layers and each layer is so so weak so brittle i'm actually very curious to learn about the flower composition it's so light the crust right is the most chickeny flavor crust thus far the crust is actually tasty it feels like they added chicken powder chicken bouillon into the seasoning flour so you have the tastiness from the chicken but on the outside it still tastes like chicken the cook on it as well the squirt the squirt the squirt and then the juice was dripping down but now to the missus and despite it being such a good fried chicken it is a good fried chicken i actually have more to say about the missus miss number one is that the chicken is small. I'm pretty sure they are having a supply problem like the rest of Singapore because that chicken is very small. Nowhere, that chicken is nowhere near 1.4 kg. Just by touching it, I know it's at most, at most a kg chicken. So because of the small chicken, it is again not as juicy as it could be because chicken size is very important when it comes to fried chicken. But the most heartbreaking miss is how they cut it. So you have one drum, one wing, Half a thigh, half a thigh, half a breast, half a breast, and one rib cage. From what I've tasted, I think the cooking time for all those pieces, right, were the same, if not very similar, which is very problematic because you cannot treat a breast the same way you treat a thigh. With a thigh, you can sort of be rough with it, doesn't really matter, it will still come out juicy. But with a breast, it's much more delicate. You need to be gentle with it, especially when you have half it already. If you're too harsh with it, it will not be wet anymore. Which is precisely what I got. The breasts were really overcooked. It was tough and chalky. Like when you overcook breasts, right, it becomes like stringy. The crust on the outside, still really, really good. Still really, really tasty. But when you break into the inside, suddenly it's like, suddenly it's like, what happened? This is the reason why most of the places we visited didn't serve breasts. Because breasts is 
harder to handle it's easier to dry out and when you have dry breast right for fried chicken right it's just a goner it is also the reason why McCrispy McDonald's fried chicken dish only uses drumstick and thigh it is my personal opinion and McDonald's seems to agree with it as well that drums and thighs duck meat basically make for better fried chicken I know it's a Korean tradition to serve their portions like that like how oven and fried chicken has done they serve half and full chicken and then they cut it according to the they cut it according to the morsels but when you do that you have to be really really careful because a drumstick does not cook the same as half a breast I would have appreciated if they stuck to the breast thigh wing rib drum I don't know there's probably a, a good way to do it even if you cut it the Korean way but it was not what I had today so verdict one drumstick I'll walk for the fried chicken two drumsticks I'll take a bus for the fried chicken and three drumsticks I'll go anywhere for the fried chicken and Waker's chicken is two drumsticks it's so hard to give this verdict because I will say this the drumstick of Waker's fried chicken is the closest one to a three drumsticks so far that drumstick but bigger will be the best piece of chicken I had this series man the squirt though the squirt the squirt have you ever had fried chicken where you bite into it and it squirts out and like like literally travels a distance not like drip <sighs> It's still a very good fried chicken. Uh. I'm just, I'm just, I just really wanted to give it a three drumsticks. Anyway, that's all we have this time. If you want to check out other fried chickens that I reviewed, you can click over there. If not, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.